okay guys good morning in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can participate in the fmos testnet um intensified um program right i understand a lot of persons have been having issues with it i've seen all of your messages and that's why i'm doing this video to basically guide you from start to finish right most times when stuffs like this are shared the you know guiding principle is always embedded in the post so i would always recommend you know you take some time to read them okay so this is what you're expected to do first off you need to have a metamax wallet and then when you open your metamax wallet you're expected to connect your evmos um testnet um setup with that particular wallet right there there are two ways to go about it either to you know set it up manually or right use the um, automatic method that i'm going to show us here so these are the list of um like you can see here these are details about um the testnet the testnet who is eligible the testnet is open to everyone in the community including new members one of the hallmarks of the diverse of the DIFI is to open participation all right and we're towing the same path for our test nets right so this means it's for everybody okay so now you're going to be using um chainlist.org to add the evmos test net um, setups to your metamax and i'm going to be guiding us how to do that after you've done that you're going to be using the um fullset.evnest.dev to get the testnet tokens that you would use to interact with the protocol all right and then finally you now use this website the testnet.edmos.org slash swap to do the interaction so i'm going to guide us through how to do that all right so the uh, browser i'm using is kiwi browser right because kiwi browser enables you to have metamax extension to your browser right so kiwi it's um, highly recommended now when you get to kiwi browser ensure you turn this on and use desktop mode right if, if you don't use desktop mode you might have challenges connecting to your metamax so you go to chainlist.org when you get to chainlist.org you scroll down ensure you activate this testnet um option here right so you'll be able to see the testnet um setups so we're going to activate that now just give it some time i'm trying to do that i'm activating to testnet it's taking some time to respond but i'm sure it will is very soon well done okay so it, it's activated now it's on the testnet um mode so you type fmos in the browser section here now you see we'll have fmos testnet and we'll have normal um fmos so this is what we'll be working with you click on connect now once you click on connect it's going to take you to your browser like i mentioned okay so i'm going to pause and put my password and then okay so i'm believing it's already connected now oh then let me try that again okay so it, it's already connected you're seeing my wallet here that means it's connected right so we can now proceed to the next um step right which is the website okay i think on the website you can also get the um faucet link there so i'll just go directly to the website now right where we're supposed to do the interaction um, just give it some time it's loading all right so when you get to the website i think the testnet um link it's already there too this is it the faucet so you would have to 
click on that right but before you click on that ensure you have already copied your ethereum um, wallet address from your um, metamax right ethereum wallet address or the that's the evmos testnet um, address as well okay so i'm going to go copy that and then i come back here okay so i have already copied my um, address you go to F the um, full sets that I just showed you here you cl I clicked on this here right so it would bring you here now you click on get F that's a T that's testnet if if most you click on that once you click on that it's going to bring another page where you expected to paste the address here you paste the address you check up the uh, recapture on select images that are taxes this is just for aha uh -huh. so once you do this it, it marks that you're not a robot you click on request fonts right now it's showing this because I've already um, claimed oh sorry that's not my address oh oh that's okay it's copied now so let's um, sorry for that I, I or uh, assume that already copied the address right so you copy your address and you check up this again and then you request for funds right now it, it's because I've already claimed several times okay yours will not be like this once you've done this right if you go back to that um, home page right you would have received the um, testnet um, token so what you are expected to do is you will now use that um, F token you've received I think to be 0 0.002 um, test um, FMOS okay let's let's go back to the home page so that's what you would use to interact with the protocol right so let, let's go back to the home page and then we see how to do the interaction all right so here you go to swap right and then whatever amount you had okay you have to connect your wallet select wallet so you have to connect it to you sorry i don't know why uh, this is giving me i had already connected so it's supposed to um, work right so once you connect your wallet what you had inside right that that's what was given to you as the testnet token would show under this balance here let me show us that it will show under this balance here right and then you now click on max once you click on max it will show you the equivalent of if, if you're having let's say um, 0 0.02 or so you can use half of it convert it to emo right and then you go to liquidity right and then you also provide liquidity with the remaining one as well that's just how to go about it okay i'm having a little challenge with um, connecting to the wallet i don't know why but this is just how you should go about it i hope this helps all right guys all right, I think I, I figured out what happened. It was actually not on desktop mode, right? So that's why it was asking me to select wallet. So I had to change it to desktop mode. So I needed to be sure um, this works. Connecting error. I'm sure you might not have this challenge, right? This might be um, network issues okay basically you just connect like you did the first time once it connects it would show you what you have in your wallet like i've explained and then you use it to swap the normal swap and then you can as well go to liquidity um provide liquidity as well that's that's all you're expected to do all right guys take care